The lovebird rhetorically grooms her cage in the humid air of twilight. The former world will not return, nor would we welcome it. We contour the room with ears, and in hours, the echoes from the chambers of cello, violins, and viola, much as Beethoven would have heard them in his innermost. Blurry cognizance of a phantom organ, organizing away somewhere in the body. Put on the dad genes of hope and optimize planetary paparazzi intelligence. <laughs> Foregoing attunement patrols, suitably ensorcelled bureaucrats namesake hurricanes, nested decorrection based in recursive monstrosity, a palatial nasturtium of calendar vulturey. <laughs> Take the mods thrifting. <laughs> what goes better with the blue suede shoes, the pink peg slacks, or the red blue jeans? This raspberry beret matches the pants, or I could do the fez and switch to the boogie shoes with the diamonds on the soles. Can I borrow your famous blue raincoat? The cheap sunglasses I got will accessorize with it well. And what goes better with a brand new leopard skin pillbox hat than some electric boots and a mohair suit? I know those boots were made for walking, but honestly, I prefer a high heel sneaker or an old brown shoe if I can't find some boxing gloves. I feel like a dirk wearing white socks and my Adidas, but when Goody Two Shoes rocks those hot pants, it's goodbye pork pie hat. Hello, vicar in a tutu. <laughs> <laughs> Welfare brooding collapses Honolulu atavistic with friendless wallet aghast at talent warmongering. Posts Naz Fellaheen approaches pardonable waste centralism, coordinates integuments rostrum valence, Opportunistic forestry contempt devalues this mostly Arcadian Calibanist trickery. Opine me with a blunt tool or foolish punt. This is the collaborative poem. Um, the first stanza was written by Chris and then we alternated after that. So <clears throat> it's called Saturn Knocks Jupiter Out in the Eighth. Singing into the microphone to create pretty shapes out of the flatlining Pro Tool screen may look good on paper, but when a funk musician and boxer meet to debate politics on TV, are we in a boxing ring or a dance floor? You don't have to be a star to belt out the melody of the planets. The music of those spheres confers a sign onto each chromatic pitch in an unbroken zodiac tone circle that can double as dance floor or boxing ring. Thou too, melodic comet, may bring, in divided party music, your dancing relatives, your absolute relations, to float like a butterfly through breaks in Chroma's ring, to sting signs into call and silent response, blue as space sizzles. A perching river, I hear you quiver, gif of water cycle and color wheel line dancing on soul train. We kept a rolling with the punches all night long, roped in some dopamine for the mice elves and took notes to the ruler of each house in a semiotic blizzard, our mission made of training for a solar conjunction at an Aquarian age cage match. And though the singer's dropped mic skips like a needle through the solar system's warped album, the musician and boxer find the groove to the anti-war song stuck in Mars, stuck in Mars, in Mars, Mars, <laughs> Mars, till the break becomes infectious as Earth. Mm -hmm.
The persistent apocalypse erases frames. Its famous flames recreate a narration of effacement. Borked coup attempt. Gradual ramp up to civility war. Flagrant obtuseness of power. Swallowing, apropos meagerness, the eager apprentice mandibles it. Bulldozer consistency in management, soloed maelstrom, continuous meltdown of recipe for domestic estimation before the comestible hurricane. Woe to the office removed when the pissed electorate rises up voting. Cognate astonishment at the ball pit. Bully pulpit taken literally. Effusive digressions from humanity. Nacien. Wandering down taciturn semitones with sati, mm. I imagine him watching a slow procession of all things to world's end, determined to bear it witness in dignified sadness. Mm. 